Yeah, it's you. 내 머리 속에 너의 분. I'll travel to the moon. 네 옆에 있어 준다고. I would have never thought in 2013 when you debuted that I would be sitting in the same frame as you about to do your makeup. I never knew that I would be here either. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, back in the homeland. So, been such a long time. Oh my god, we need to do a one joke. Palm song, shut up. Inside. Yeah. Hello, your position. Yeah, yeah, let it go. Hello, rapper Eden. This is Eden, who, if you did not know, probably don't know because bitch, it these days the people that watch my videos are like super fucking young. So they're like, their oldest is like, well, BTS. I should have known you guys debuted around the same time, didn't you? Yeah, we debuted before, actually. It was only like, what, seven years ago then? Yeah. Your contract would have barely been over then at that point, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, so Eden here debuted in a group called LC9. Under Nega Network. Maza. You were the Hubei group of brown eyed girls, right? Maza. I saw you. Your debut stage, and I really liked your song. Really? And also, you had one of the most violent music videos. Even by today's standards, it was pretty violent. Yeah. Wait, should I do English or Korean? You yeah, mix. Preferably English because Is your audience sucks. mostly English? Yeah, I have like no Korean viewers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this you, Eden? Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a bad Tokyo. picture. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Good thing you look the same though. To be uh, if you went to like these newspaper companies, which they did back in the day, they used to make you pose in very like specific ways. Yeah, like, you have the photo you, time. Can you do this? Ah, she kills her? Oh, she kills Ah, Yojime, and they just like, you have to do like the 45. Mm. Center 45. They make you do very like awkward stuff, I awkward. think. They didn't know what was like flattering. Flattering. Yeah. These are like the same people who are taking pictures of like news, right? <laughs> <laughs> Politicians and stuff. So, ah. Oh. So, talk about how uh, you got into the idol world, how, idol long is how you got started, all that. I started pretty in unconventional way, I guess, really. right? I was just like a normal like student. Mm -hmm. Like I was just going to school in Canada. Where in Canada are you from? Vancouver. Vancouver, Man City. Oh. I was just growing up there. I was like a regular ass student. Regular? How old were you at the time? I was like 19. Oh. oh. I put my pictures up on, you know, a site called Sumpi. RG. <laughs> you know that, right? Because I did that in you know, the Orjang contest. Does it still exist? I, don't, I doubt it. But I think it was kind of big at the time, mm -hmm. right? Sumpi was pretty big at the time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the, their forum and shit. The company that held it at the time was Sidus. Oh, side is. Side is. Which they're known for more like acting on. Acting, yeah. Even though we say like, oh, you were kind of late for, as a trainee. When I was there, I was, I, it didn't feel like it. Mm. Because there were a lot of older training. Oh, really? And uh, stuff, yeah. And it's very different. The training uh, st system is like very different than what you would see in Idol. Yeah, well, yeah. what kind of Way classes do you have? Well, acting, that was the main one. And then for me, there was. You were telling me about some like putting something in your mouth. All, all the Kyopos will know this. <laughs> They make you put like a pen in your mouth, like this way, uh -huh. and then make you go through like, in my case, it's like a script, right? Mm -hmm. Your tongue will not move. Because when you speak Korean, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know, this English. So English. your tongue will stay down, and then it should fix your accent if you just keep doing it. Did it help? Um, I think it did, actually. It did? Because I kept doing it even afterwards. That's true. Even the other companies made me do it. Oh. It's not just like specific to that company. Oh, it's like a, it's like a thing. I don't know these days. They, these days they might be like, oh, we just want you to be natural. Um, I mean, I guess that they do give them classes, but I don't think I don't think I've ever heard of that pen thing. I heard from some uh, people around me since I came back that that whole like way of doing it is different now. Oh yeah, cool. Okay. The contracts are a little bit different as well. I'd be curious to know how the contracts have changed. Because I remember at some point, didn't they change the law to make it less slave-like? Oh, they like? did. I think that might have happened when I was here too. I think you're thinking I'm like so... <laughs> no? Hey! So am I like Soteji era? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I'm gonna put moisturizer in your face. Um, this is my product that I made. I'm 
gonna give you one. Oh really? Yeah. Thank you. It's okay, we have a lot. <laughs> I think a lot of this confuses a lot of people about what it is. The easiest way to think of this is just as moisturizer. You use this wherever you use moisturizer. But the way it sits on your skin, the way it makes your skin is so much better. Do you use sheet masks? I did before. Like I have had, I've tried it before. Yeah, so. and it gives you like that, that spa-like yeah, 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 skin. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. You go well, but like uh... it's just, you don't have to wait 10 minutes, right? It gives you like that baby skin. Do you ship to Canada? I think Canada's open now too. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're like an afterthought to America all the time. Really? I feel like uh, you guys, it's always America and Canada first. Yeah, but we definitely, definitely like behind America in terms of those things. I know Canada for like whenever I buy a book and I'm back, the price is in US and Canadian dollars <laughs> and it's always more expensive in Canada. <laughs> I remember going to Victoria Island because I lived in Washington State. Oh, so really? you could just take a boat and go there. That's close to Vancouver. Calgary? You know that? Oh, I had no idea. I went to the Butchered Gardens and shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cute. Very nice weather. Ah. Uh... A lot of homeless people. If you thought there's a lot of homeless people there, you should check Vancouver. East Tasting Street. Just look it up. Have you seen that uh, TV show where it's like Housewives of Atlanta, but it's like Asian girls? It's like a bunch of rich yes. Chinese girls. Yeah, I've seen that. Is there a lot of that there? Yeah, there's a lot. Okay, of that. okay. That's like real. Ah! Look at that. Oh my god. Manjoba. Tarajin. Mm. He's like, I don't fucking know. The <laughs> moriji. You're like, I can't tell fucking difference. Anya, the kimchi wa, the kimchi wa. I can tell. It's not like greasy. Mm, baja. Kazuga. Thank you. <laughs> The pen in the mouth thing w went on for a while. My Korean was so bad at that time. Was it? I didn't know any Korean almost. None at all? You didn't speak any in the house? I rarely spoke. Like I understood because oh. like my parents would speak to me and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. But I would respond in English. Ah. That's how a lot of kids grow up, I feel like. So I was doing that, but then at the time, like K-pop was starting to like pop off yeah, a bit, yeah. but, right? In terms of like globally. Yeah. So then I was looking at all that and I was like, wow. That looks so cool. Mm -hmm. I was young too, right? I was like 19 at the time. I was like, I don't want to keep doing this pen in my mouth thing. Mm, so it was your that. choice. Yeah, it was my oh. choice. I was like, I, I want to do that that type of stuff. I want to like dance, I want to... Because I thought it was like a, where the company told you. No, no, no. Mm. So I left by choice. So it's your fault even. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I started. Mm. And then became a trainee at mm. Nega Network. Was it because you like someone that worked at Sidis? The Nega Network was actually not from them. Uh -huh. That was just like completely separate. There was actually a guy that I met um, while going to like all these companies. Mm. He was like trying to get into these companies as uh, well, right? Okay. And he was like, hey, I'm going to audition at this place. Uh -huh. Do you want to come? I feel like I hear this story a lot. Like a lot of people do. Yeah, that happens to a lot of people. And I was like, okay. I, and I was not prepared to do anything actually. Really? Like the casting person mm. came down and they were like, are you going to audition? Like, oh, oh, so? Just outside. Really? And I was like, okay. <laughs> Yes. So in a way, it's almost like you're street casted, just in the building. Yeah, kind of. I wasn't planning to go into the. Ah, 그냥 같이 가는 거야? 어, 그냥 같이 가줬어. 같이 가준. It happens all the time. Like one friend's like a follow just to be there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And they end up getting in. And the, what about your friend? He didn't get it. <laughs> there were some other companies that I actually got accepted at the time. Omo, Odi. I don't know if this company exists either, but like TS is a big one at that time, right? Thank God you weren't there. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I've, I've heard about it, right? Oh, uh, honey. Yeah, I mean, either way, I was f***ed. <laughs> oh, in the end. Oh my God, I didn't even say what I was going to do today. If you look at the makeup back during your time, it was very like mm. black and gray. Mm. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm just, anyway. It's going to be interesting for me because I... You have oh, makeup you said, right? I haven't worn any makeup in like... Yeah, I haven't worn any makeup since I left, oh, I wow. guess. Yeah. None of your gal pals were like, oh my god, let's do it for fun. No. Oh, I don't have many gal pals. Rightfully so. I feel like you're the type of person that, because we're actually both INTJ. Oh, we yeah. We like to yeah, keep yeah, our close friend INTJ. close. Yeah, yeah. I kind of like meet with same people, yeah. but small group. Because we don't trust bitches. <laughs> But that's probably true. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That's why after this video, I'm gonna stop talking to him. <laughs> How long did you train before you debuted? Three years. Three years? Oh my Total. god, so then when you debuted, you were like 20... Two or three. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean, there were so many things that happened when I was training. Oh, more. Well. That will be for another video. <laughs> but you debuted. <laughs> what was it like meeting your members for the first time? 
Oh. Or was it like, did you know you're gonna debut with them or was it just a bunch of trainees and you didn't know who's gonna be in the group? I think this is similar to many other companies, but there becomes like a A group. Uh -huh. And then like, remainder. And eventually like, people who are not gonna make it into that, mm -hmm. filter themselves out because they know that they're probably not gonna get in. So, oh, so they, you know, they like just leave or? Mm, they just leave or try to look for other opportunities. That's you know. so sad. In a way you could say it's a blessing because they escaped. <laughs> but the people that I was on the team with mm -hmm. were people that I knew for the whole time. And a few of them were like, we knew we were gonna make it. Mm. There is this feeling that the company will give you. I think in any company, you get the feeling of importance. That's when you know like, okay. And there's other opportunities that come up, Yeah. right? When I was a trainee, I was in the music video oh, for yeah. Brown Eyed Girls. Oh, which, which video? Do you remember? I think it's called like Midsummer something. Ah. But it was one of those like, easy to listen to. So it got played at a lot of cafes. <laughs> okay, so, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, the typical like backup dancing type of stuff. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, right, right. Before your official debut? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, so. Everything that they they were doing. Six cents. Uh, Six cents got you nice up because that was too close to our debut. But we did like you know abracadabra. Oh shit! <gasps> oh my god! Did you do the one where you're like when she does the the fire thing? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> So if people search up the stages, they can find you? They would have to search it up. It was really hard to see me. Also, weren't you wearing sunglasses or something? Yeah, we were wearing like masks. We are wearing like all this stuff. Before the corona era, y'all were ahead of your time. <laughs> I don't know how it is now, but back then it was pretty customary to have like trainees get stage experience mm -hmm. and also cheap out at the same time. Also cheap. Right, so they don't have to, have to hire like yeah. Set other team's dancers. Yeah. What was it like when you first heard your, like when they gave you the title track, the demo? I really liked the song. I thought it was really catchy. You know what? Actually, we didn't know that that was going to be the title track. Because, really? Because people who go through this process know, like you go through so many tracks. Really? You go through so many tracks that come to you. Uh, how about how many yeah. did you? In the course of like a year and a half or two years, we went through like, like 50 songs, 60 songs. Oh shit. Like a lot. Were uh, any of those songs passed on to other groups that yes. you saw? Yes. There was one that was a girl group actually. Really? They just changed the key. The key? Oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. The Singapore though, that happens a lot. Where they just pass that shit around. But then when they told you that Mama B was the title track, how did you feel? That track was, I think, pretty decent. Like the song itself. Mm -hmm. When we listened to the actual like instrumental of it, mm -hmm. like we were like, oh, this sounds pretty good. We were able to like kind of direct the song a lot. Oh, really? Not we, like literally the members, but the company directed the song and we did a lot of takes. Like the first version to the final version is probably so different. What about the rap? Did you write the rap? I can't remember actually because I, it actually started out with me writing it. Oh. And then I think the person who was on that team, the producer team. They were like, your shit sucks, so I'm gonna write it myself. Just kidding. No, they kind of used it as a reference mm -hmm. and, and they were like, okay, this is your rap style. So we're going to kind of like make it more polished. Mm -hmm. nice, yeah, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah. I think my favorite part about this song is the fact that you say one, two, three, four. I know, right? I don't know why they did that. They were very particular about sounds of words. Oh, I remember. Dumb. Yeah, they were very particular about that. I mean, I was like, either go big or go home, right? That was just funny that you only made one of the words Spanish. <laughs> but I will say though that your voice, when I first heard it, I was oh. like, my pussy's like on fire. <laughs> that shit, his voice is so deep when he raps. Is my voice actually this deep though? When you, when you rap, it it's out? different. Yeah, of course. As a boy, like in general, it's yeah. on the deeper side, but when you rap, you're like, bo, bo, bo. It was very forced. Mm. It was very forced. Very forced. <laughs> yeah. Like, the entirety of the idol life. Yeah, it was very forced. I mean, I think uh, everybody knows this, but all of the tracks, like there's layers, right? L of vocals. Mm -hmm. There's people who come in to do like the harmonies yep. and people Oh, you guys didn't do yourselves? Too. We did some of them, but mm -hmm. like, you know, like female harmonies. Oh, female. Uh, okay. Yeah. Like dubbing, they call it dubbing. Yeah. Like. Somebody else did my rapping dubbing. What? <laughs> like, whoa, 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 whoa? The guy's voice was very similar to me though. I don't know if they do that now, but it's pretty customary. Oh no, it's pretty, yeah. yeah. You'll hear a lot, even like idols that already debut, they, they go do other groups, uh, like mm. Google layering on them though. It's actually pretty funny because you'll get tracks from like a producer mm -hmm. and the guide is like, 
a different group. There are other groups though, that where the member can't even sing, so they'll keep the demo vocal and they'll pretend to be singing that part. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, the music video. Whose oh, idea yeah, was yeah. it to be so violent? I'm talking like rated R violent. You get like an axe in your shoulder. Oh yeah, I know. Like, they had, they had to do like special makeup for that. Mm. Like they actually had to work on that for like a pretty long time. That's true. Yeah. Still to this day, probably one of the most unique idol music videos out there. You never see videos like that anymore. I didn't know at the time, but I think it's inspired by like anime. Fight Club, I yeah. Koi. Oh, Fight Club. Because... The way that we looked was very anime. Oh, it was very anime, right? yeah. especially King. <laughs> King, how are you? My face is so sad. That was rough on his hair. Right. He lost so much hair at the time. Because not only did he like bleach it to hell, they had to. It was like yeah. up. Yeah, yeah. You know Street Fighter, uh, Ken. Ken? Oh, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. Blonde yeah. hair. That's literally his hair. Do you remember my hair was kind of like this as well? It was like up, but. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Do you know who it was inspired by? Just guess first. Uh... Vanilla Ice. <laughs> they showed me the picture and they're like, "That's you." Oh yeah. my god. I remember I hated it. Girl, I hated it for you. Just kidding. No, you look pretty good though. Oh, 활동할 때는 그 머리가 아니었어. Yeah, yeah, right, right. It was just, it just became like, a normal, more normal, just short yeah, up hair. Gain was like a featuring in the song, right? Yeah. For like three seconds. For like three seconds. And she wasn't even in the video. <laughs> no. I was like, try to sell. <laughs> I mean, I understand. The girl was busy, so. And also, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure the company probably was like, even though you guys were literally the same company, they were like, we'll, we'll give you her name power, but. Yeah, it was like a favor, right? Yeah. But the panel was pretty good on your, for your song, though. And even like your, some of the content that... <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> your... No, no, no! Oh, okay. <laughs> Radio show stuff, performances. Uh -huh. The number of views is actually pretty good, especially by today's terms. Yeah, yeah. that's surprising. You couldn't ask for more, I think. Yeah. Was... From that size of a company. Because mm -hmm. it didn't look cheap at all. They did pour a decent amount of money. Like, I don't know what happened in behind the scenes, right? In between like the first one and then subsequently. But you're right. The reaction from like public was decent. And even in Korea, because mm. you know these days a lot of groups are trying to target like Weguk. Right. right. But back then, it, that wasn't really so that, much of a, a thing. You were yeah. still trying to target back Korea. Back then it was like, uh, we got we have to target Korea. Yeah. We have to get big here in order to get big overseas. Well, pen sign itself? Yeah, we did How one, I think. It was good. Mm -hmm. We did a lot of like, back then there was a lot of, I don't know if it, they still do it, but fan meetings after the show. Oh um, yeah, 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 like outside, right? Yeah, Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before COVID, yeah, they were still doing it. Oh, really right, right. And there was like a pretty decent amount of people. I was pretty surprised to be completely honest. Kibun oh. Jochi. Seeing them in person. Yeah. You were probably one of the, still one of the most popular members, weren't you? I don't really, like people think that, but I don't know if I was. Oh. It was too early on to really know uh, who's more right. popular, who's more, you know, this and that. And also I feel like these days, it's more def the, the idols are more connected with the fans, like in terms of yeah. like social media and stuff. You know what the problem was back then? There was like shimbijui. I don't know what's that in, oh, yeah. in in yeah, English. Something from the fans. Yeah, yeah. Like, to protect their image. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like be secret about everything. Yeah, you have to. You uh, have to you? be secretive. I think people thought I was a very quiet person. Quiet, very serious. Little did they know. Look at it. I was like the biggest prankster. Oh really? Of the of the group. See, that's why I feel like these days with like V Live and all that shit, mm. like it's easier to see more sides of the idols like that. I think we talked about this, but is that a good thing or a bad thing? It could be a bad thing, definitely. But I think if you're like a prankster or whatever, yeah, you yeah. know, fans can see that. If there's people that watched me back then that's watching this now, mm -hmm. this is probably more I've talked than the entire <laughs> Because even as well back then, it's like, which is what I try to remove when I work with idols is like, stop talking about the most bonan things. Like, yeah, yeah. oh, how is your new album? Like, I, I don't oh, care. It's out, it's out. Right? And my Korean wasn't still not the best. So like, they would be like- They pass you the mic, you pass it to the next person. Yeah. yeah. You answer. There's like a person who answers stuff yeah. in the group. The talking you know? tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I was the one that just stood there <laughs> for the most part. Would they ever make you like speak English? Oh, whenever it was like international stuff, because still there was at that time, like, a lot of media outlets, I guess you would call it, that were from overseas. Mm, yeah. Also, did you do anything with Sumpi, like interviews? Oh, yeah, we did. In those times when they needed English, uh, mm -hmm. that's the times I talked. <laughs>
for your music video, how did you prepare for it? Oh, we actually prepared for a really long time. You know, there was a dance music video and then there was the cinematic music video. We shot them both at the same time. So we had to prepare the normal choreography, oh. but there was a fight choreography as well. Mm. We prepared that for like six months or like oh, something shit. like that. We actually went to like a stunt school oh, good, eh? uh, and we had to learn all this stuff. When I think about it now, I can't believe I was able to do those things. Right? It's stuff that you can't either appreciate or like realize until much later. Are you proud of what you were, what you did? Yeah, I think it was a good experience. I'll say it was a good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it was a good experience. But you know, when I talk to people that were active before, and I talk to them about what they thought about their experience, I don't think anybody regrets it because mm. they were so entrenched in their goal and their dream. How did I put up with that? I think people know like what that training process is like, mm. right? Yeah, I feel like these days with social media and stuff, people are more and more realizing how brutal the idol industry is. I heard these days they let kids have phones. Oh yeah, well, a lot of companies do. Back then it was... Like, they didn't take our phones. Mm -hmm. Some companies did that, but for us it was still not allowed to mm -hmm. just like post stuff. And I don't know if it's if it's the case now with like other groups, but you had to like download an app, you know, that shows your real life location, oh like God. stuff like that. So y'all had find my iPhone, or what is it? Find my friends or something? Yeah, yeah. There's like a app for that in Korea. See, ahead of the Corona times, because of cool in one, because secret phone. Oh, some people have that, or just like iPad, <laughs> iPad tablet, right? Oh. That's how people got around it at the time, I think. Yeah. But yeah, I, I heard that it's less... It's less, uh, even like in the Gunde, you people get fat phones yeah. now, yeah, even in the army. I texted King, who is in army right now. Oh my god, King! Hi King! Annyeong! And he responded to me like right away. Oh, so I was I like, whoa, I didn't know that they could respond so fast. Yeah, if they're not like doing something, they're just at their dorm, mm. just on their phone. And the, but you recently met up with one of the members, right? Yeah. His, his Hwartong name was uh, Rasa Inga? Rasa. Yeah, Rasa. Oh, he's like a f***ing... Hairchang now. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know that all about a lot. Yeah, do hairchang is Yeah, yeah. Bokun. Chijak. I don't know. I'll do it later. When the Insta rolls Oh yeah. <laughs> Everyone's doing like you know fitness and that kind of stuff because yeah. it's uh. Hairchang she did Yeah. There's a funny story about that actually. Mm. Back in the day when I was training, they didn't let me work out mm. because I generally like working out. Yeah, um, back then it was all about being skinny for idols, oh, right? Yeah, it was about being skinny. And, I, and then I started to get a little bit big. Yeah. And they were like, you didn't hear? She was thick. I was quite big compared to what the typical idol was, I think. Mm -hmm. And they were just like, no. Can you stop? <laughs> but these days they let them. Yeah. Especially if that's your like uh, image. Oh. Like you're the one that works out. Yeah. They were just like, you can just do cardio. <laughs> You never made a comeback song, did you? No. Because you ended up leaving before. I ended up leaving, yeah. Mm. To study. And that's actually true. That's actually true. You know, true. a lot of bitches out would be like, I'm gonna study. I think, like drama behind the scenes. I think the reason that that's like a good excuse in Korean society, saying I'm going to study is like the optimal, like, yeah. they're like, okay, he's gonna become a good person now. Right, like, right. Yeah. studying is associated to being a good person, I think. So it's like the best way to like, get yourself out of a situation. Mm. So, so but I actually did. Yeah, and now you're doing what again? Finance? Yeah. Like I said, I was already in university, mm. right? Mm -hmm. So I always wanted to finish my degree. Mm. I went back and studied finance. And then now I'm, uh, I guess in English, it's pretty easy to understand. I'm an investment analyst. Investment analyst. Yeah. This is the first time I'm showing this on camera. He's my brand's first eyeshadow palette. Actually, oh, there's really? two. I'm going to use the warm one. There's a cool and a warm. Oh, we, John, I need a close up of this shit. Oh, no, we can go on, you know? Since you're idle, idle makeup today, I'm gonna use the warm one on you. Is that being sold? By the time this video comes out, hopefully it is, but is there any like Chemin and behind the story from when you were promoting and stuff? There's way too many to like. Oh! She said there's drama behind the scenes. Did you guys have a pretty good relationship? I mean, if you're still talking oh, today. Like, there was nothing between like our like members. Yeah, because it seemed like you guys seemed really close even back then. Yeah, we were, we were really close, I think. I think one thing that you learn a lot, I mean, for anyone who's gone through this process, you learn to coexist yeah. with people. But would you say you, you guys have pretty good chemi chemistry? 
Yes. I mean, like three or four of us were training together for three oh, years. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Like all three years. You so. kind of knew each other's like habits and stuff. Mm -hmm, exactly. That's what I like to hear. Do you edit the video? Could you? I edit everything myself. People always tell me to get an editor, but I'm really anal about the way I edit. Right. Like my humor style and shit. It's like your business, right? Kuchi. My son, Matt. Nobody can capture that. I remember a company approached me about being an editor for me, and I was like, oh, here's a sample video, try editing that. It was so bad. Because it was just like every other YouTuber's video, so I was like, not that mine are super unique, but it's like, I ended up just every change they made, I ended up changing myself. You know what I'm curious about these days? Like, for idols? I think that people know how hard it is now, right? Okay. Like, even like from a financial standpoint, mm -hmm. like making money. Do idols go into becoming an idol for the goal of becoming an idol or to use it as like a platform platform for something else? I'm sure it depends on each person, but even for me, I've always wondered that too. Like, if you know the chances of you succeed are very low, why it's would you like do it? But less than 1%. Yeah, I ask people in though and they always say it's all because they have a passion for it. And a lot of the companies will be good at convincing them like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you a star. Yeah, but that's... Them being so young, they don't know. Because a lot of them are hoping to be like BTS or Kurt, Kurt comes like Crayon Pop. What if they like, come to you like... The jumping? Oh, the... You're shitty out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were, yeah, that's a good case though of like a, a random group becoming very big. Mm -hmm. I wish companies gave people, even if they debut as an idol, they like, give them a little bit more free room to do other stuff as well because the company doesn't know if they're going to try that either. A lot of them end up doing, come, making a debut and then they, they never make a comeback. I feel like they will start doing it like that. Hopefully. And I, I hope that when I see people who are trainee or even the ones that debuted, like I don't know if viewers know that even if you debut, like it doesn't mean you... It doesn't mean you're <laughs> You're, it doesn't mean you make money. Even, I'm talking about even the ones that are somewhat famous. Yeah. It's not enough money to live off of it for like years. Could you? What was it? Was it Red Velvet, I think? It wasn't until like fourth, fifth song that they started making money back. Yeah. I think. And that's SM. And they're, they're like a successful case, oh, cool. right? So like even the ones that are kind of like famous, but not like Teba, I wish that they would all have backup plans. Whether that's school or whether that's like a side thing. Yeah. Even like these days, a lot of idols do like YouTube channels. Oh yeah. Which is good, but... Do they actually get the money from it oh, though? Girl. Hell no. You know the, that shit goes straight to the company? Oh my god, Eden. What? This is the one. What the f- Who did that? Wow. Okay, listen here, bitch. Oh my. Oh! Do you say Oh my god. He's like, I can't tell. I don't know. What's going on? <laughs> no, I can tell. I can it's tell. fine. I've gotten used to it. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera real quick. It will be right back. Eden. You don't have a girlfriend right now, right? I do not. Good. Because I'm about to fight her if you did. Come on. Let's go outside. Go outside for what? We're going to fight. Later. <laughs> uh, we were talking off camera about how surprisingly Eden kept his sense of style. Because no tea, no shade, but a lot of like people that live in like North America are like lazy when it comes to styling. There's a go to style they have. Yeah. You know what I mean. You look great. Thank you. Yeah. This is all you. Um, I don't, even though you probably already saw yourself in the mirror. <laughs> Nothing really stands outish about it. It doesn't give me the ooh la la sensation. How is it compared to Yandare? I mean, it looks way trendier, I think. Right? Uh, trendier, right? If I can describe it, it's like 2D kind of. Mm. And now it's more like dynamic. She said 2D. Okay, bitch. All right, come on, finance. Good day, Maja, because for a while, girls would have all the really like patio on makeup. Mm. And for a while, guys would just have black eyeshadow and lip tint. I think it's largely because they just didn't know what to do. Could you? But now because of, uh, especially with like YouTube and stuff, there's more like people to show. So you know what I'm gonna make you do, right? More. I never practiced it like you did. <laughs> hey! Hey! You got that? Hey! 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 Oh 
my god, look at that muscle memory. Hey, 나 이거 나도 혼자서 나오는 거야 지금. 맞아. If we ever come back to Korea, I'm gonna put you through the same shit make other idols do. <laughs> freestyle rap battle, freestyle dance, vocal. Hi, Hede. If you want to follow Eden, I'll put his Instagram down below. Thank you. You're not like doing anything like. I'm not really doing anything, but I I like revived my Instagram since oh, yeah. like. You've been posting quite a lot since you came here. When you go back to Canada, you're not gonna. But. 할게 없어. 맞아. 그래서 hopefully you have enough content to pull. From this. I can literally just upload the whole video without editing it if I wanted. <laughs> really? Passive, hmm. Really? Sometimes, like, if you watch some of the mm -hmm. videos I do with other people, they don't talk at all. Okay. So you know what? No, no, then. It looks really good. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, you look f***ing good. Look at that. Like, honestly, he, 지금, what he looks like now is like the 요즘 시대, like oh, the 요즘 유행하는 style. Ah, oh, 그래. Tall, muscular. Right. Uh, 해찬. I'm sent by. 안녕. 수고하셨습니다.